This is the story of the Drowned, how the Drowned were once an ancient race of players fleeing from the land, how they survived underwater, and how there was an ancient war between them and the pirates. Enjoy the video. Our story starts off with a Minecraft Drowned named Dan. At the time though, he wasn't a Drowned, he was just an innocent little player. Dan lived a happy life in this coastal town with his brother named Pete. They always played together and you could rarely find them separated. Dan always aspired to be a builder and wanted to construct something massive when he was older. Hey Pete, Dan said, wanna go inside that cave? Okay, sure, said Pete. They always loved going into caves because nobody ever went inside. And as they explored, Dan found something interesting. Hey Pete, look what I found. Wow, is that copper? Yeah, let's grab it. Can I hold it just for a second? No, let's smelt it first. Pretty please? No, we need to cook it first. As they bickered over the copper, Pete, without thinking, accidentally punched Dan. Dan was stunned. After an awkward silence, he just cried and ran away. Wait, Pete said. I I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it. But right then, something as strange approached. There was what seemed to be another being in the cave. And as it got closer, Pete realized that his skin was green and his eyes were hollow. It noticed him too and slowly started to approach him. Pete ran in terror. He thought he was for sure dead. But luckily the zombie started burning in the daylight. The zombie burnt to death. While Pete narrowly avoided the zombie, the greater zombie apocalypse of Minecraft had come. News was spreading rapidly that there was a plague spreading that turned players into zombies. You can still see these zombies to this day in the overworld. Rumors say that the plague started in the caves. How would everyone deal with this new zombie threat? The iron golems would only hold off the zombies for so long. There aren't masks in Minecraft so a different solution was needed. Some people hypothesized that this plague wasn't able to spread underwater. The question now was this. How would they survive under the sea? They lived right next to the sea so the people fled underwater. They discovered that they could breathe underwater by crouching on top of magma blocks. The magma blocks provided the players with bubbles to breathe. The people underwater created tiny little settlements. Things had changed so quickly. They had gone from living a happy life to having to fend off zombies and live underwater. This was their life now. Sailing the seas was a guy named Blackbeard, and just by his name alone you can tell he's a pirate. He has mercilessly raided many villages and he keeps most of his valuable loot in his captain's quarters. He was ruthless, and judging by the loot in the other parts of the shipwrecks, the rest of the crew weren't so well off, eating mostly rotten food. Captain Blackbeard, I'd like to be a pirate. Hmm, well you have to pass my test. What do you call copper in pirate speak? Pirate what? Pirate speak, the best language in Minecraft. Um, I don't think that's a real language. Well, you failed. We pirates call copper a bullion of copper. Only those water dwellers ever use it. Now leave before I kill you with my cutlass or diamond. The people living underwater were glad to be alive, but their new life for the most part was miserable. Some people had fled underground and would work to create the ancient cities. Their town had debated before whether or not they should go underground or underwater. Anyways, Dan had come to accept this new life, but Pete grew rowdy. Dan, now an adult, had built a small but comfy stone house underwater. He hoped to live up to his father's legacy as a great builder. An ancient builder. Mom told me to give you these boots. Thanks, Pete. And hey, which block do you think would work better for the floor? Spruce, polished granite, or this pretty looking glazed terracotta? Uh, I don't know, the, the first one I guess? Hmm, not my first choice, but okay. See you later, man. Yeah, see you later. One day, Pete fled and just kept swimming. He hated living underwater. He headed for a ship he saw in the distance. Blackbeard noticed him through his spyglass, and even though he was ruthless, he decided to take the little guy under his wing. He became like a son to him. Pete did not know what he was getting himself into. We know pirates once existed in Minecraft since there are shipwrecks and all of which contain treasure maps. Since around 43% of ocean ruins contain treasure maps, these ones were the homes of the pirates. One interesting thing to note is that all drowns seem to be wearing leather armor. Since leather armor can be found inside ocean ruins, it confirms that the drowned once lived inside these ruins. With the recent chaos of the zombie apocalypse, raiding and looting had never been easier for them. Together with the pirates, Pete learned how to raid coastal villages. Blackbeard was impressed. Raiding is so much fun, Pete thought. He kept on griefing until he noticed something. It was his old home where his family lived. He placed TNT, but then thought for a second. He decided to leave the house alone. He left to go back to the pirate ship. 
The pirates buried the extra loot they found, as well as the heart of the sea they had found earlier inside their buried treasure chests. Speaking of the heart of the sea, since all buried treasure chests contain them, the pirates probably stole these from somewhere, but didn't know that they could be crafted into conduits with 8 nautilus shells. No one realized how important they would be later. Anyways, they wrote the location of their chests on their treasure maps. They must not have been good at marking their location, since their chests never seem to be where the X is. Or maybe this is done on purpose to discourage anyone from attempting to find them. But anyways, the pirates, including Blackbeard and Pete, became very rich from the raids and made a lot of money. Meanwhile, Dan and the others built a massive monument out of the otherworldly prismarine they found. It took many months to build it. His father would have been proud. Guardians naturally spawned around it. They also around this time forged the tridents. How did they make them? This is just a theory, but perhaps tridents are made out of copper. I know it sounds absurd, but let me explain. Tridents being made out of copper would explain why the drowned occasionally drop copper because it's used to create the trident. Fully oxidized copper looks kind of similar to the trident, and copper can be used to create a lightning rod. More proof is that the enchantment called channeling will make a trident strike mobs with lightning. So both copper and the trident have a connection to lightning. Nevertheless, Dan mastered the art of the trident while Pete learned how to raid the quickly collapsing society of ancient builders. The Guardians quickly became a scary threat. To bring you up to date with them, Guardians are probably fish that are encapsulated in Prismarine. This is because they drop fish even though they don't have mouths to eat them. After gaining the abilities of the fish as well as the puffer fish, they grew spikes and a tail. Guardians have a very rare 0.3% chance of dropping puffer fish, which would explain how they got their spikes. I talked about Guardians more in a previous video. Anyways, they desperately needed the Heart of the Sea, the cure to stop these invasive Guardians. The Guardians are the Guardians of the Prismarine. The ancient builders were forced out of the monument. A conduit was the only thing that would save them. Some fished to try to retrieve the Nautilus shell, but they still needed the Heart of the Sea. The ancient builders realized that the pirates had stolen the Heart of the Sea a long time ago. They had never really liked the pirates. They were always lurking around like vultures. The ancient builders decided to attack them. They armed themselves with their tridents and headed towards the pirate ships. There was only one problem though. Where were the pirates? The pirates were always sneaky and never revealed their location. They were stumped, until a creature came to the rescue. The dolphins were willing to show the ancient builders the locations of the pirates' bases in exchange for just a little fish. They also didn't like the pirates, but the main reason they were helping them is because they despised the guardians. If the pirates were defeated, they would obtain the conduit, and therefore the heart of the sea. If a conduit was placed inside the ocean monument, it would neutralize the guardian threat. With the dolphins leading the way, the ancient builders surprise attacked the pirates. A massive war ensued. They were heavy casualties on both sides as a skirmish raged on in the ships. Blackbeard was an excellent PvPer and he was crushing everyone single-handedly. In the heat of the battle, Dan stared right at Blackbeard. You think you can take me, Blackbeard said? Well I'm not going down without a fight. Dan pulled back his trident. Blackbeard then charged straight towards him. Dan threw the trident. The trident hit Blackbeard, killing him instantly. The pirates became disorganized with their leader gone, and all of them were massacred. Things were very bloody. Everyone still kept fighting though until Dan and Pete finally saw each other. It had been five years since they had last spoken. Dan and Pete looked at each other. Hello Dan. Hi. I missed you, brother. Despite the reconciliation, almost all of the other pirates were killed. The pirate ships were sunk. They rushed to find the buried treasure again and dig up the land. They pulled out the treasure map the pirates had in their ships and looked for the X. When they arrived on the beach, they started digging. And after what felt like forever, Dan finally found the heart of the sea. But uh oh, he started to feel nauseous. He turned a bluish color. Then he became a drowned since he had been in the water for so long. He became Minecraft's first drowned. Because of all the fighting, their bodies had become weak and the air was now toxic for them due to the zombie virus. While they didn't successfully save the day or the world, Dan and Pete were finally united and they decided to chill under this ocean ruin. Wait, I just realized something. What is it, Pete? Did I hold a grudge on you all this time because of a stupid piece of copper? What? Don't you remember? You mined a piece of copper and you wouldn't let me hold it since you wanted to smelt it? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you never gave it back to me, so that's why I decided to flee. I know that sounds kind of dumb. Wait, you know what? I think I still have that copper ingot from all those days ago. Here, you have it. No, I'm good. No, really, take it. You know what? Sure. Thanks, brother. And hey, is this a happy ending? What? 
I said, do you think this is a happy ending? Us being drowned and all? Um, well, you know what? Finally being with you again makes it a happy ending. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Who are you talking to?